Hello everyone, welcome to your very own channel and in this particular video, we are going to learn about one of the most powerful function for working with arrays, that is the map method. And this map actually helps a lot to quickly transform data in JavaScript in a very smart and in very clean way. So let's start the lecture, let's start the video and, and understand that how to use map in JavaScript. So let's first understand that what is the definition of map. So here as you can see, the map is used to create a new array. Well, whatever array we are having originally, we want to create a new array by applying particular logic or particular function on each and every element of that original array. And then we want to take those elements as the part of new array. For that purpose, we use map. The map does not change the original array means it creates a new array but it doesn't do any changes in the original array from which we are taking the elements for creating a new array right and then it transforms and modify all the items in the array very easily that's why we use map so let's understand that what is the syntax of map so for the syntax let me tell you that maybe that you are having a, a array, right? So you are having a one original array. Let's say this. Now for applying map, what you do is that you take the name of that array. Like I'm having this array and then I put a dot and then, then I write map. And then I put a parenthesis inside of that. This I again write a parenthesis. Then I make an arrow and this curly bracket. So this is your arrow function. You write a function here and then close right now inside of this parenthesis what we write we write two things that is element and index what is this used for well element is used to fetch every element of that original array and index indicates the index number of that particular element of which we are fetching right so it maps from one element to second to third to fourth like this way now let's see here what we write here we write a logic whatever logic we want to apply on that particular elements of the original array for that we normally write return and then we write our logic right so this is how we write the syntax of your map now let's move forward and see some good examples of how to use map so let's take an example and write an array oh, sorry that's let's array that's a variable name and uh, let's write something else like let's number equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 right now if i want to map each and every element such that i create a new array which is having the twice of every element that this particular array is having like i want to create a new array that is having elements like 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma 10 like this for that what i have to do normally we can create it like this but we for that purpose how many times will you create if you want if you are having like uh, uh, some 100 numbers right so what you will do for that we use map how we can use it just simply write the name of that particular array first since it is creating a new array so you uh, store it inside another variable so let's say uh, let result equals to now write the name of the original array that is number then we write map then we put a bracket again a bracket inside of this we write element and then we write index right then we put an arrow and then we put what we can put this curly bracket right now since we are putting this curly bracket we will use what we will use our return so we will write a return and then we write since we are having this element so element is fetching every element of this particular array so first it will fetch one and then it will fetch two then it will fetch three and then four and then five so element is storing this number so we will write what element into whatever action you want to perform element into two that's it so this will map 
every element twice of its number and store it inside a new variable that is result. So let's see that whether it is working or not. So let's print it and result. Yeah. Now let's go on our console and check it. As you can see here, I'm getting a new variable and inside of we uh, like I'm getting a new array and inside of it I'm getting the elements which are twice of that particular original array as you can see 2 4 6 8 and 10 so this is how your map actually works right let me show you some more examples so let's do one thing that let's play with objects right so with the help of map you can you apply uh, like your functions and your logic on map on objects also so map with objects let's see an example of it let's create a student equals to here i'm having an array and inside of the array i'm going to store objects right so uh, let's uh, create the name and the marks of that student right so let's say name is what is aman and marks is uh, 80 right aman is a good boy now let's say uh, let's create an another object and inside of it i'm saying that okay let's the name is uh, sara right and her marks is 20 so Sara is a bank venture. <laughs> okay, so let's let's move forward and we have created a student a array inside of which I'm storing two different objects and each object is storing two keys that is name and marks, right? Okay, let's create let's use the map on these objects. For that, I'm going to use a new variable that is uh, let's say names. So what I will do in this particular example, I will extract the name from this object of this array right so let's uh, write the name of the original array i have written this name student and then i will use map then inside of it i will create the syntax right now what i need to do i will fetch this students right with the element like all the elements so here the element of student are what this one object and this second object this second object right so for fetching that i need to write element and index right okay now here i'm having this curly bracket so if i'm having this curly bracket then i need to write written and if i don't want to write this written then what i can do I can simply remove this curly bracket and then I can write my logic by own, my own that is to dent sorry that element element is what element is this object right now inside of this object I want the name so I will do what element dot name right okay so this is how I will fetch the names from the array and the object and store it inside this new variable right let's print it let's see on our console that what it is showing so it is giving me an array which is having two different elements that is aman and sara which are actually the name of the students inside the object of a particular array right so this is how you work with it i hope you understood that how we actually perform a task with the help of map right just keep few things inside your ma mind right inside your mind what you need to store that map always return a new array right and the original array is unchanged keep this in your mind this two point is very important right and basically your map is great for transformation but it is not great for filtering out for filtering out we use the filter method which uh, i will cover in another video but 
this is how your map works i hope you understood this lecture i hope that you understood all the concept which i taught you in this particular video if you like it then hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe the channel let's meet in another video in another topic thank you so much goodbye